Today along the Alaska Highway, you'll find campgrounds and RV parks, which many say has changed the character of this historic road. Originally, it might have taken you two weeks to drive from Dawson Creek to Delta Junction. Today, it only takes a few days. <laughs> Back then, your car could not drive that far on a tank of fuel, right? And so um, basically like every 25 miles or so, there would be a place where you could get something to eat. You could stop if you wanted to and fill up on fuel and probably repair your car. Lily Gontar wrote a book about the vanishing Alaska Highway Lodge community titled Beyond Mile Zero. She says to truly experience the character of the Alaska Highway, you've got to stop along the way and meet the people that make the highway special. They're a hardy bunch. People like Dennis and Linda Bouchard. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it's work. More work and more work. They own the Rancheria Lodge at mile 710, the longest continually running lodge on the highway. So we've owned it for 11. 11 years. 11 years, going on 12. 11 years, two months, and how many days? <laughs> Along with a good location, Linda says the key to their success is hard work, kindness, and the fact that they generate their own power. But if you ask Dennis... We usually provide a little, maybe a little bit best, better service and better food than everybody else. <laughs> hey, I'm going to blow our horn, Mom. Yeah, and she makes yeah. really good soup. <laughs> About 300 miles south of Rancheria Lodge is Toad River. While they also have a reputation for good food, it's the lodge's famous hat collection, which draws visitors in from all around the world. Kind of like a practical joke. They were sitting around having a beer, and one fella went to the washroom, and then the other fella nailed his, left his hat on the table, so he nailed his hat to the ceiling. And when he came back, and then it just started from there. And of course, we couldn't pass up the opportunity to add one more to their collection. When they give a hat, we give them a card with their number on it, and it's just kind of a little souvenir they got. 10,972, that's my favorite number. There you go. While some remain, Many lodges, like this one at Summit Lake, serve as a reminder of what once was. Although its bright seafoam green exterior still catches your eye, the lodge itself has been abandoned for years. It's just economics and not air, I guess, not everybody can survive and make it, but it's sad, but it's true. So whether you donate a hat or grab a bite to eat, just don't forget to stop and enjoy the true character of the Alaska Highway. Well, many things have changed along this highway since it was built 75 years ago. Roadhouses still provide a taste of the past, providing travelers with a chance to eat, rest, and have a conversation with others.